Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shah, Bahavah Chakwadash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father name, who in the real ignorantly and willingly calls Jehovah. Yahweh Shah is the Son name, who in the real ignorantly and willingly calls Jesus. Bahasham means in the name. Bahavah Chakwadash means in the Holy Spirit. The way we're able to understand these prophecies and parables are the Holy Scriptures and worship the Father in spirit, truth, sincerity, and charity in these last days. And double honors to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone, which the most I set up to push his word down, truth, sincerity, and charity. I basically want to go into this lesson real quick, man. Basically, why are we in the truth? You know, whatever camp you're a part of, whatever you video you came across, and you know you had a little zeal and knowledge, and you start making little changes about yourself, man. Whatever it is, and wherever you at, why are we in the truth? That's the big question. That's what, you know, we should always ask ourselves, and me first and foremost, why? What's your why? It goes back to the will of the Lord, first and foremost, he thought about all these things, okay? And he caused them to be written and written in paper, caused them to be kept in writings. And he let it play out according to his will, okay? Because it work is something. But the reason and why we in the truth, man, hey, it's of the Lord, first and foremost. Nothing but of the Lord only. It is Matthew 22 and 14. For many are called, but few are chosen. So a lot of people get called, but a few is chosen. And we hope to be what? That chosen. By what? Understanding that perfect will of the Heavenly Father, man. Praying to endure in His will. Praying to be chosen. Doing what it takes to be chosen. Can we understand the prophecy of the valley of the dry bones? That's in Ezekiel 37, man. Okay, but you read verse 5, it tells you, Thus if the Lord God, talking about the Most High Yahweh, that is his name, unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. What is that breath? That wisdom. So, yeah, you see a lot of camps and brothers on the highways and byways. You see the real men of the Lord, the fake men of the Lord, the hypocrites, all that. It's all there. It says, I will lay sinews upon you, will bring flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh. Okay? And it goes into the parable, the vision of what? The valley of the dry bones. Some had breath, some didn't. Yeah, man, they got the breath, which is that wisdom. And you got some that ain't got it. Okay? And um, real quick, man, that is Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 24. For wisdom is more moving than any motion. She passes and goeth through all things by reason of her pureness. For she is the breath of the power of God and a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Therefore, can no defiled thing fall into her. And that's Wisdom of Solomon, right out of Apocrypha, right out of the 1611, part of the Old Testament. Wisdom of Solomon, 6, starting at verse 24. 7, starting at verse 24. Okay? But let's get more into the why, okay? That is James 1. Uh... One and twelve. Uh, man, this this whole this whole thing good. This is James one, verse twelve. Blessed the man that endure temptation. So you got a lot of trials and tribulation. This is the trial of life, man. Okay, but if you endure it, you're blessed. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. So uh, the reason we've been in being in the truth is of the Lord first and foremost, but we want a crown of life. We want rest. We want peace. We want the promises, man. Okay? This is the trial of faith, man. Scripture tell you that. Trial of faith. It ain't gonna show up, man, but. Uh, Lord willing, let me see. Lord willing, the Spirit give to me. First Peter, one and seven. 
that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perish, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So at the appearing of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, the only begotten son, during his second return, his second coming, we must be clean from wickedness and filthiness, man, which he cleansed us through his word. And he is the word. The word became flesh. But us enduring to the end, keeping our integrity intact. Staying clean as the best we can, man. Here's a little, here it is. The Lord gave us a clean outfit, head to toe. And you had a party. And that big party is America. You want to stay as clean as you can, man. So your daddy come pick you up. You're like, man, what you been doing, man? You just how you treat the stuff I brought you? Same mentality. Why? And we in the truth. You know? This is a quick similar to a liking it as. And when you keep reading, it says... Jump it down, verse 21. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness. So let's go into that word superfluity. It means the residue remains, the wickedness remaining over in a Christian from his prior state to conversion. So us being followers and having this anointing, coming and being a new creature, the things we did in the world is still there. So that's why we're in the truth, to get that out, to cleanse, to be that new creature, man. Scripture talk about being that new creature, man. You know, we want to be that new creature so we have a shot come back. Hey, we can be good, man. This Colossians 3. I'm going to hop to the point. Verse 5. Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth. Fornication, uncleanliness, inordinate affections, evil concupiscence, covenants, which is idolatry, for which things... Sake, the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience. In the which ye also walked some time when ye lived in them, but now ye also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing ye have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in the knowledge after the image of him that created him. So we putting on that new man. Renewed in that knowledge, being co uh, not conformed to this world, but being transformed by the renewing of your minds. Okay, being washed by that word, man. Speaking the truth, not lying, not having filthy communication coming out of our mouth, man. Trusting the Lord and his will, knowing that he got us. Okay, so going back to this James 1. It says, wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness that remain in wickedness. That nigga that was in the world that carries over into the truth, which we must kill off. That's why we're in the truth, to kill that off so we could be meat for repentance. And receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. So that's going to save our souls, man, the word. And what's part of the word? Repent. Being washed. Being clean, enduring, the things we just read. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Deceive your own selves. So you got a lot of people that come across the videos. They just hear us. They think that's enough. They think knowing that they Israel is enough and not eating pork and not getting lioness is enough. And not committing adultery is enough, baby. But there's more to that. He that sows sparely shall reap sparely, man. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he reap. There's a lot more to it. And that's the big why, why we in the truth, man. Okay? This first Peter 4 and 3. For the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles. So basically, enough is enough. When we walked in lasciviousness, lust, excess of wine, ravelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries. So all that things we done, which is out of flesh, hey, that was enough, man. We always Gentiles carried away, discontinued from our heritage, worship of idols, sinning, going off, wherever we at. But when, hey, when Yahweh called all men to repentance, hey, we get up and we come, man. Many are called, few are chosen. We hope to be chosen. We hope to have that breath in us. We hope to endure. We hope to be meat for repentance, man. That's the big why we in the truth. It says, wherein they think it strange that ye run not with them to the same excess of rioting, speaking evil of you. So your family going to speak evil of you. Your friends going to speak evil of you. Your woman, your kids may speak evil of you. 
But guess what? Your name in heaven is being spoken in righteousness. The angel is carrying your prayers, man. Yahweh Shai died for your sins. So we ask ourselves, why are we in the truth? Why are we a part of this prophecy? Why are we hear the name? Why are we wake up to us? Why us? Hey, the Lord got something good for you. But if you don't endure, if you fall short, <laughs> that's on you. Because of your lust, because of your weakness, because of, of your unbelief, man. That's in the scriptures. The Lord want to see who for him in the midst of this wicked, perverse, crooked generation. The Lord want to see who's going to be the doers and not the hearers. The Lord want to see who's going to pay it forward as he done, man. Everybody saw that movie in high school, Pay It Forward. This John 21 and 17, he saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? So he repeated this three times unto Peter, man, who was the head of the disciples, which proves the Lord deals with order, man. And a lot of people got a hard time dealing with order, knowing that the Lord set up the elders and apostles, man. They can't just follow order, so they want to do their own thing. They err not knowing the scriptures. They wax worse and worse, and they break the scriptures down wrong, man. And make a fool of themselves, because they try to exalt themselves, but now they're making a fool of themselves, and they're hypocrites in the sight of men. It says, and he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh Shai saith unto him, feed my sheep. So if you love Yahweh Shai, if you about Yahweh Shai, you're going to feed his sheep. You're going to lay apart all superfluity of naughtiness. You're going to receive the uh, the word which is able to save your souls, man. With meekness. Key word. And I'm going to end it with this. Matthew 24 and 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So we got to endure all the trials of tribulation and temptation. Knowing that if we do it, work is something. Knowing that if we do, we're going to receive what? A crown of life. Okay. The scripture says, hey, man, we was into a whole bunch of folly in the world, man. So it, it's, it's good that the Lord called us out of that. It says, which were some of you? The second Corinthians 10 and verse two, but I beseech you that I may not be bold when. No, that's not it. It's 2 Corinthians 10 and 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought through the obedience of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, and having in a readiness. And Hamashiach is the Hebrew word for the anointed. Ha, the Hamashiach anointed. Yahweh Shai is the name of the only begotten son whom the world ignorantly and willingly calls Jesus, man. Because ain't no J's, no E's, no O's, no U's, no V's in our pure language. That pure holy tongue, the Lashwan Kodash, according to Zephaniah, that pure language that he's going to give us. Okay? Same thing with the Heavenly Father named Jehovah. That's false. Yahweh, that's false. The Heavenly Father name is Yahweh. But they like to give... The honor to idols, man. It says, and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience and fulfilled is fulfilled. So that's what it is, man. We said for the defense of the gospel, we said to repent, we said to endure. And that's the big why. Because it's all of the Lord, it's not of us. But the fact we hear, the fact we are part of prophecy, the fact we are called, we're going to hope and fight to be chosen. And how you hope and fight to be chosen by the doing the things we just read. Feeding the sheep. So, Lord, we'll hope the less was edifying. I want to give all praise and glory, honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. Double honor to the elders and apostles of the great millstone that the Most High set up. Shalom to your brothers that push his word out, truth, sincerity, and charity. Shalom, Abba, Abba.